well with wisps that can have you seen the mid the ganks? mid ursa versus invoker is, that, is there too many cutting bat oh bat rider one doesn't have boots, so he can even threaten solo kill. So mid one has to play very, very defensive, even whenever he knows it's just the bat rider in the lane. Because giving up a solo kill early on is the worst thing that can possibly happen for secret. Mid one, conservative style continues as he knows Roger is uh, just around the corner. He even sends a forge spirit to chase him away. Anytime he's got like two stacks on him, right, he has to start backing up. Yeah, it is. It's not just. <laughs> He's not letting it go, man. He wants yeah. it bad. They're actually going to TP up the top lane. Nick's assassin is in a bit of trouble, but now he's going to be saved. A nice two-man stun followed up. High life die. First to go down. First blood. MP turns against the three-man, but realizes he neither one of the uh, side heroes is low enough for them to actually make it go. Maybe actually shot slow. Almost goes down with the help of... Slaughter is going to have a whole lot of free XP in the spot lane. And Evoker also is able to sort of catch up on the XP puppy run here, so... Oh, wow. oh, nice stomp into the sun strike, and mid one finally, finally change. You know he used to go like uh, no levels of flaming lasso. You go the drum build, and you just try and like maximize your your basic abilities. Forever almost goes down. Actually, will the last hit comes out from Cedo just barely. Even swaps around a little bit of HP. Roger smokes up, almost hit by the stomp. Oh. That was gonna lead into a sun strike, but Roger. With that clutch play, will manage to get out. Nick's assassin has gone on his top lane by the life stealer, but now it's going to be turned around on by Team My Wild. Push back straight into the tier one power. A little bit of extra magic damage, and it's enough. Physical damage comes out from the tower to finish off. Leap be caught by this gank, but Puppy's kind of lurking behind mid one, stalking him, seeing if the, there is a gank that comes in. Kick back. He's there, ready to go with the stomp and saving mid one's life. Sure enough, three man stomp is good enough. And he's actually going to try and punish here. Comes in with the open wounds. Rogers gets stunned up by the cold snap. And MP and Puppy beat the support down, punishing him for a failed gank on. Currently just trying to slow down the push, but it uh, doesn't seem like there's going to be too much commitment. Maybe Fred's going to be caught though. Roger jumps in, Pilot dies, forced to drop the golem just to try and save Fred, but it's not good enough. MP TP'd in, went straight for fan score, Sunstrike not going to land, but it's not needed anyway. Cedoy, half HP. Bat Rider coming in, they have the sentry and the wards, they know he's here. So stopping any potential gank, maybe going to try and turn around. With the Dot Star ready to go, Ferev is going to make a quick stun on the Bat Rider. The sun comes down from the Earth Spirit, but not going to be enough. Even Vanscourt's in serious trouble. The Amplify damage, Sun Strike on the mark. Ferev nails him first with the Crush. And even with that rotation, they'll still be able to get some good damage on that tower. MP, he goes straight for Cedoy, but now the swap around between the Vendetta hit as well as the Sunder. Shoshlo's hoping to wait for that rage to pop out, land the stun, the slow's there. The stun will land because of it. Five to six now as they get a little bit of a punish on. Tier one tower goes down. The roll misses though, because currently a life stealer sitting inside the range creep. The rest of Flipside pushes forward, hoping to be able to catch Midwan instead, but a stomp slows them down. They may still catch Midwan though, he's napalmed up, Tame My Wild managed to get the lasso, actually just sitting over him, over the goal of stun, will be able to get the kill. Highlight Tai trying to help out as best as possible, but it looks like Flipside Tactics may just run over these heroes. MP finally pops out of his infested grief, goes for Roger, will manage to nail him. Two for three so far, Team Secret. So the Terror Blade is the big threat, right? They they kept, you know, the Bat Rider down for the most part, and eventually he'll get his items, but oh, kick back, nice play. Mid one in some serious trouble with relocate in. Mid one's definitely dead. He knows that. That's why he just turns and tries to get the kill on Roger. He does whole team fight dynamic could change in an instant. He used to be secret, could only win fights with chaotic offerings, but now with a blink deck, because they're gonna find their initiation, they go straight for the assassin. Already one down and secret quick to re That's what really what I was getting into, right? He's the biggest threat. How do you play around him? Yeah, you just have to um the other heroes. Eventually it'll get to the point where whenever all of his team is dead, no real supporting cast, they'll be able to kite him around, the invoker spells, and stomp after stomp after stomp, crushing him. Like Flipside tactics, this could be a good time for them to push down that top lane. 
knowing that Infest is on cooldown for a bit of time. They managed to get the relocate onto mid lane. Looks like they're trying to make the initiation with a Batrider. Violet I Die had a nice response though with a chaotic offering. MP in the meanwhile does manage to get the Nyx Assassin, who is trying to sneak his way in with a Vendetta while the relocate came in at the same time at mid. A bit of miscommunication is going to cost them dearly as they're still going to lose their wrist. The initiation comes out. Metamorphosis is though too much for MP to handle. He gets a bit, bit too over aggressive. Centric around the early game and take or not necessarily the early game, this uh, this big game and putting a lot of fun. Stun and countered out by Forev and MP's combination. Pylai die will be saved once again. Roger. Getting away. Fans core may not be as lucky. Tethers to Cedoy. Forev misses out on the stun. Meanwhile, Nyx is absent. Gonna be caught once again. Rolled over by the meteor. Flip side lost two of the launcher, but it may not save our wisp. Our spirit's gonna try and get in position to be able to allow the wisp to tether away. They're gonna need an instant stun for Ev. He with the amplify damage, they see where Roger's at, so they just kill Roger instead, and the wisp gets away. But all that, Vanscore use Blink Dagger now, so as you can see, the flip side just been hemorrhaging kills all over the map, and it's really, really hard not to. Chaotic offering use drop there. As once again, our Nyx assassin anybody. On flip side tactics, if they find the right person, Shachlo is sneaking around as the Nyx assassin, hoping, praying that he won't run into another kind of war. But it's going to be mid where initiation is at. Roger. Oh my god, that is a chunk of HP. MP. Brooks is just going to drop super fast. Flip side trying to put some pressure on this top lane, but. Heroes off the map, they could be Roshaning, but it's not for sure. And if they are Roshaning, they'll be done very, very quickly. So, danger to yeah. push top. So they can still TP potentially, but never mind. They're not even going to try. Instead, it looks like they're just going to try and claim Flink ahead of Red's Crush. Still, though, that rotation should get them the tier 1 tower. And this TP probably needs to be canceled. Shots low, fortunately. There's no counter vision there. So, won't be caught. In fact, he's going to make his initiation. Two man stun to lead things off with the fire damage over the top. Flipside Tactics coming in with a very big metamorphosis of Cedoy, but he doesn't actually have the disables anymore to lay out the damage to relocate us. Echo Saber, great for all these strange heroes. You see this Lennox Wheeler, now that he's got all three items, Armlet, Desolator, as well as the Elmira Slardar now. Team Secret should be able to take some control of the base. Just wandering around, they sort of have to uh, define the initiations near towers and have the relocates by that, so they have some sort of... Uh, Fights aren't too chaotic, but... Cedoy just gonna be blown up. Secrets. I mean, making sure that uh, there was no relocate out save by Cedoy, but... Put Team Secrets in there anyway. Oh, and they're gonna find more. They're stuck on the cliff, though, because of this one. Four staff up in 12 seconds. Oh, taking the bat. Oh, Shasha took the gem. Oh, There's nice. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant and they can't actually take advantage of these still the flip side, right? They have one of those lineups that if they win one team fight and it's on secret side of the map, they can easily just you know, pummel through tier twos and tier three towers. Relocate's gonna come in top after a failed initiation. Brev trying to carry MP to safety here, but he's gonna get lassoed up. MP pops out with the rage, but in my wilds a bit too fast for him. The golem got dropped by flip side tactics are still able to push through. In my wild, hoping to be able to slow down MP. It looks like it's just Pylai Die who may be the pickoff here. Okay, my wild doesn't actually cut him off, Radiant's but it looks like Shachlo will still be able to close that distance. Mid one actually turned on Roger's Earth Spirit, got that kill. Pylai Die is finally going to go down here as he gets stunned up, and Cedoy gets the damage in to finish him off. A one for two, simply because mid one found an opportunity here with the Ghost Walk, and actually he's going to look for more here. Blink forward, has Vance Core, tornadoes him out. One more right click will finish him off, and he TPs away. Mid one, what a player! And do it straight up, flip side. Very clearly, want to contest Roshan. Don't want to get caught inside the pit. It all comes down to this initiation. Flip side can make their way back into this game if they get the right jump, and they've got a two one on. He's going to be pulled back. A rage wasted. MP's going to try and close the distance. Retain by well, he does get him. BKB pop by Cedoy though, and as he now battles it out with MP, Roger in the back right, being incredibly dismantling, but Invoker just lays waste to the Nyx assassin, almost finishing him off, and Will with a tornado on the right hand side already. We have Nyx assassin down as well as Roger. We will manage to finally get a kill for Cedoy, but now he has to man up against MP without the Wisp, as he quickly goes down to the physical damage and no Wisp to help him. Yeah, when they give MP that, uh, the Alacrity as well. Jesus. 
he looked so scared immediately. I think he acted as a little bit of a uh, a zoning for it. <laughs> yeah, oh, Tamai Wild caught. Eh, it's gonna be a rough pick off here. He's got the Shadow Blade though. Maybe uh, Secret don't have any. Oh, never mind. Ooh. Here's the gem. Oh, I thought that was his yours. Okay, that was bad ones. Yeah, there's no way he's living. He just runs away and just continues to go in and out, in and out, in and out. And Flipside doesn't really have the tools to deal with that. On the hunt for Ev and MP. Make the Nyx Assassin disappear like Houdini. They've got one pick off and a push coming in at the top lane. A reload came out from Vanscore, but I believe that was supposed to bring the Terrorblade with them. Either way, maybe it was smart that he didn't bring him. Three more seconds till the reload came back. Red Stun's coming up. Oh, not quite fast enough. It looks like he may survive. Has to get back to the fountain first. God, he heals. He's good. He's good. All right. Big pickoff that allows them to go high ground with this Aegis. They've got two more minutes for it. And the pickoff, I think they just found it. Seedoy in some serious trouble. They don't have a relocate, so they're going to force the BKB charge out of Seedoy. Oh, mid one. Might have been he's careful. He actually just jumped in a little bit too far. They blow up mid one. Now MP. He has to battle up against Seedoy. Seedoy stunned up for the moment by the Abyssal Blade for the rest of the flip side. Now the Rage is down. MP is theirs. Rage is still down when he comes back up. Two seconds, but the kick immediately lands. Can they combo this one up? They just use the blade him. But now the stun comes in for Perez. On to two. They've amplified up Sidoy as well. He needs some help, but he can't get away from MP, who stays on up until a two man stun. Sidoy turns. He takes them both down. Team Secret. Who's three? As yeah, Sidoy actually selling his Dragon Lance to getting the butterfly now. Waiting for them to move away so he can get the secret shot, but. Oh, Roger, gonna be picked off for Evan MP. Finally, do find. Dyer's top Dyer's top yeah, they have this nice ward behind them, so they know if they're wrapping around. They just want to hold this high ground area. And oh. Mass TP's back. Here comes the initiation. Tidoy almost gets blown up, and he does. The relocate not in time, and a full retreat now from Flipside Tactics. Damage just too much to Hammond. Oh, and the Golem actually catches Roger and attempt to TP out. Vanscore, looks like that relocate was actually meant to go top lane to see if they can actually get some damage on that tier three. If only he it just got way too over aggressive. Um, secret there is either coming from behind or they're gonna defend in the lane or they're gonna jump your terror blade. And either way, it's it's really, really risky and highly unlikely you're able to get any buildings off that. MP pops out, will take shots low, but it looks like Perez gonna be brought all the way back to the fountain, oh, tamed by Wild. Again, seems to be trying to hold this game together. Flipside are not gonna go uh, and blow buybacks, nor should they. As they don't have the metamorphosis anyway, they're gonna have to give up at least one lane of rag. Secret are gonna try and make it two, though. Yeah, without the metamorphosis, it's sort of hard. Oh, push back and a kick. But they are going to be able to catch Roger, snap him down. The long range combination between Puppy and Midwan, but still, that was enough. Kick Secret, loop up, and stay on the high ground. Pilot Eye covering their tracks with the upheaval just in case. Even a stomp going down. Vanscore needs some help, but he won't be able to get the tether on time. Two more seconds, but he's already down. And now they pop to this arc, but maybe MP. He's been rolled up by the lasso, but this one stops all the damage. BKB finally activated by Cedoy, and down goes MP. Flip side tactics will manage to take out the big carry of Secret. Can they get more? Perez pops forward, managed to get Roger, stunts him up, covering the supports track. They need a really good stomp here. Puppy's gonna get it with the help of the golems. Midwalk comes in from behind. He's already taken on the terror blade, and he looks for more two Secret. They don't need MP. They take down flip side tactics by themselves. Tame my wild, barely staying alive until Shadow Word finally brings him low. Mid one. He was being dumped on in the laning phase, but he shows what a menace he can be. He's got the full invoker arsenal available to him, and he's gonna push down mid lane, force out those buybacks. But it's Seedoy alone without metamorphosis. There's no way he can really challenge mid one here. Yeah, at this point with no metamorphosis, three and flip side down, the game is like really grim. Almost no way they can defend this, even without the life stealer. Jump in, Rev. There's the combination. Wisp gone once again. Taking the mid lane of Rax, and mid one's physical damage is actually off the charts with that alacrity. They should be able to make short work of bottom lane. Flip side are going to be left with one last do or die fight. It's still going to be a three versus five with the initiation coming out on Seedoy. Ooh, is that a Manta Dodger? Maybe just a little bit short there with a puppy old. 
Either way, Cedoy doesn't take the damage, but he's being kited around quite excellently. The melee Rax is going down while he's still stuck inside the ice wall, trying to make his way back to the fountain. That'll be Vega's. Flipside Tactics are gonna have to fight against the ultimate challenge, and Roger is still gonna go down. 60 seconds gone for him. Flipside Tactics now have to fight this one out, not just against Mega Creeps, but four versus five for the next minute. Yeah, and even if Secret did back on here, the side is all lined up to be the Tetris Pegas. They've got the pullbacks. Ardar is the choice here. They're going to try and beat him to death without Metamorphosis. And it looks like they've got him too, but there is going to be the Nyx Assassin who dies to the Meteor combination from Secret. A buyback from Ardar. He wants to end this game, and, well, they've got the numbers now for sure. Bat Rider dies to MP's combo. He's got the MKB as well, so they can make short work of Cedoy, who they've not caught with the stomp. He chunks down to MP's physical damage, and finally the GG is called. The series being evened out by Secret in Game 2.